I mean, Scripture literally says, like, what is man that you're mindful of us? It has, like, a, a picture of such a grand God. The real question is, why should he care about us? In my conversations with students over the years, um, there's a couple of hang-ups about evolution. Uh, I think one of them is reconciling the evidence. Sometimes, uh, let's say that they have a, a view of, of Scripture inerrancy or at least believe in a creator God. So trying to work out the details so that we're faithful to the evidence that we see and we're faithful to Scripture, that's one thing. But I sense that there's also this um, hang-up that um, we're put on the same playing field as animals and that that somehow degrades or diminishes our uniqueness. And the next thing they're going to say is we're on the same level as dust. Right, right. Well, but wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, huh. Exactly. I've heard that before <laughs> somewhere, right? We're made from dust. No, but you hear what I'm saying. I do think that there is some pang of disappointment. At least I sense that. And that, that might be part of the stumbling block. And it's not just all about, you know, making sure the dates and the times and the materials add up. Um, does it diminish our significance in any way that we evolve from a common ancestor? Well, I mean, I think, I think it's a very understandable feeling, but what should be far more challenging than evolution is what Scripture teaches. I mean, Scripture it literally says, like, what is man that you're mindful of us? It has, like, a, a picture of such a grand God. The real question is, why should he care about us? It's not that we're so amazing that, of course, God loves us. I think if we really take that on board, we should be much more concerned about that. And like, you know, I don't know if you actually know much about the great apes, but they're pretty amazing creatures. That's actually, you know, if you're going to be descended from any animals out there, being descended from the, you know, common answers of the great apes isn't so bad. What scripture teaches... And it's not a coincidence, Josh. <laughs> and what, we find them recognizable. <laughs> well, yeah, but I just try to say that, like, you compare that to what scripture teaches, it's like dirt. <laughs> That's, um, that, that's pretty lowly um, what, where God says that he kind of creates us out of it. I think what the actual teaching of scripture is not that humans are so amazing that God had to fall in love with us. It's rather that we are part of creation. We're creatures. That's a term that God, I mean, that's in theology is that we're creatures. And the big puzzle isn't how amazing we are, but rather how it is in the world that the God of all creation chose to actually care about these creatures. There's like a theologian in the room who's looking at me going, I think that's about right. <laughs> Maybe I said some heresy. I don't know. <laughs> He's saying, no, I didn't. Good. 